color, just my eyes, blue. There you go. Oh, yeah, I like that. All right. All right, so, go, go for it. Anyway. Oh, I like it. That's how we do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> we're getting started. We're done. First impressions of the Saucony Freedom 5. Five. It's the fifth version. Oh, did I hate the first version? I really did. I didn't like it. Mm. Robbie, you're going to have to scoot this way a little bit, otherwise, you're going to trip on this oh, black thing. Okay, slow but, down. Um, yeah. So, this shoe originally. I didn't like it. People liked it. It had a very blocky, heavy bottom and then a loose upper. Yeah. So this is the first one I've tried in like three issues or something like that. Yeah. I just haven't been into it. Um, have you tried it before? No, I've never worn the Sockney Freedom before, but this is my first experience in it. And what's new or what's changed about it is the foam, right? Yeah. Yeah. Power One Plus. Yeah. Is no. This no, is this it's just not. On, it's PB. Power this is a power on PB. Yeah. It's that's PB. super exciting because that's the same foam that they use when you're talking about Endorphin Pro, Endorphin Speed. Oh, yeah. So this is it. All the specialty shoes have this foam in it. Without This one comes without a plate. Yeah, and actually, you know, for me, when I was going on my run in this shoe, I did a few miles in it, and it kind of felt like more of like a dumbed down version of the Saucony Endorphin Speed almost. It was like more of like a cheaper version of that. I have to tell you, my initial feedback from this is I wish this was just the Kimbara. I wish they would have just taken this foam and put it in the Kimbara and we don't need two different shoes. Yeah. So meanwhile, you got a Kimbara with foam that's not that great. And this one feels a little bit lighter, feels a little livelier. And I think this would have made for a really nice Kimbara, just slide it right in to the endorphin. Maybe you change the name and even call it the endorphin Kinbara. Okay, that's fine. Am I anyway, going crazy? Yeah. this is just a simple daily trainer. You know, it's a little bit lower stack than what we're traditionally seeing now with these crazy high stacks. Um, but I really seem to enjoy the ride of it. Thomas, what'd you think? I actually found it to be a little bit slappy. Like, okay, I yeah. can feel like it feels a little hollow, a little slappy. It didn't have as much of the bounce that I was expecting out of the uh, power run PB I, I was expecting a little more pop a little more punch and it actually just kind of felt a little slappy not bad like I don't dislike it but I mean it doesn't feel as sporty as some of those shoes and maybe that is the plate not being there yeah definitely this is a shoe that I take out maybe like a few miles or so but I, I don't know I'd have to test it out and see yeah. kind of what this shoe is really all about at the end of the day. So. Yeah, one of the guys that helps edit the website, uh, Ryan, he really liked the shoe. He took it out while we were running 10 miles on Saturday, and he used the shoe, and I think he's a big fan. It's just really gonna depend on what you like in a shoe. It's a low... <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lower stack. It's just a little bit, you know, less shoe. It feels light on the foot. If you like that minimal feel with a low stack, I think you probably yeah. really dig this shoe. I think this and, shoe is good for like what you're looking for. And look at this gum sole. Ooh, yeah. This is the year of the gum sole. Spe speaking of that gum sole, by the way, I went on my one run in it and it was a little slick. It just had rained. So the roads were a little bit like, they were just like a little wet and I was just kind of struggling to find my footing at times. I don't think it would have been a problem at any other time of the day. Like it was just like, it was just, it was just a little slick on the roads and I didn't love that, so. All right, so we'll get you more thoughts on this shoe as we get more miles in it, and we'll have a full review for you. But let until then, let me get oh, go long. No. Oh, All right. that, that was a bad pass, dude. Wait. All right, throw another one. All right. Make the make the kid look good. All right. Oh, dude, that would have been awesome if you got it with that truck. You got to start with the quarterback throw. Ready? All right. Are you ready to go? No, you got to get over, get over here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's a good one. I got it. Right here too. You have a 5K coming up. That would have been amazing if you broke your ankle right in that pothole. Right in that hole? I know, right? Oh, I could have hit him with the truck. Like that video we Meg saw on Snoop Dogg's feed. Oh, yeah. Give me a close-up of that because we didn't really... Let me turn around this way. Wow. Brandon's Jump just... Souls. Okay. Yo, calm your kid down. Give him some Ritalin, bro. <laughs> all right, all right. 
Ramadan.